little bit about Vida. Well, Vida is a badass show. It uh, shatters a lot of uh, stereotypes uh, as well, but it's about two sisters that are Chicanas, and they are estranged. One's in Chicago, one's in San Francisco. They are like, whatever. But their mom unexpectedly, unexpectedly dies, so they got to come back home, which is Boyle Heights. But they are facing their past, all the stuff they left behind. They got to face their broken relationships and face that their mother had a, a, a whole other life they had no idea about was that she was married to me. And so that's a whole other situation that they have to deal with on top of their mother dying, their mourning, and dealing with the secrets that is unveiled because of the death. So there's a building involved, there's tenants involved, the whole community. There's, um, there's activists that are fighting gentrification and that also affects the, the whole family dynamic that they're uh, still trying to work through to see if they're gonna be a family or not. Well, I actually came fully prepared. One of our Latinas of influence in the community is here, and she has a question, because she's oh, a yeah? fan of the oh, show. Bring it on. So, yeah. so I just wanted to ask you, I know you portray the character Eddie in the, in, the, in, the, in the program, and I just wanted to know, you know, what is the most important, um, I guess character, in your character, what is it the most important thing that you want to drive home? Because, as you know, I think we connect because uh, in our lives today, this dysfunction is really the functional way that many of us live our lives. Right. We all have an Eddie in the family, and I think most of all your character, I just love her because she really drives um, what family is. It, it, it looks so different to so many of us. So. Uh, to you, I'm hoping in the next series, you know, we see a change. I think you're coming out uh, being this strong, loving woman, and I think you're going to be the one that's going to teach the other girls something very important. So, yeah. can well, you I definitely hope that in season two that Eddie does really impact them, you know, so that they, they step it up and, you know, they decide to, to, to stay and to explore what this legacy of their mother means, but that's also tied in with Eddie. And I feel that that's a beautiful thing. Like, it's like, uh, okay, we're all of, all of a sudden, like, we're supposed to be family, but what does that really mean? And for... Eddie, who's LGBTQ, and myself that's in the community as well, I mean, that's something that a lot of people forget, is that we, a lot of times, are rejected by family, and, uh, and what happens is also that we create family, and that's really as strong as blood. As you see in Be The, you know, this character, Eddie, explore, you know, they, they really show the love they have for the community, how strong they are, and sometimes, you know, we're beaten down, and, and the only thing we have is word of mouth. That's strong. Our resiliency is also in being able to use our resources, and Eddie shows that there's no shame in, show, in, in using the resources that we have built by being, like, someone who's a cultural asset in the community.